We just got fibre. Yeah, actual fibre, optical fibre down our street. Well, it's actually just before Christmas. Well, that's pretty well just about. And it's 40 years late. We could have had fibre, optical fibre, around the country decades ago. But that was cancelled by the Conservatives. At one moment in the early 1980s, the General Post Office, as it was then, before it was broken up and flogged off for quick profit, was pioneering optical fibre technology. Their laboratories, their scientists and engineers were building the world's first, or amongst the world's first, optical fibre systems. But it wasn't going to deliver a quick profit within the ideology of neoliberalism. So it was disposed of, cancelled. If it wasn't delivering a profit now, then why bother about the future? And that's not the only time it's happened. I live just a few miles from Manchester University. In fact, it's about four miles sort of that way. And it was there in the 1950s that Alan Turing and his teams worked at Manchester University on developing the world's first programmable computer. Maybe, if you want to know. That could have been the birthplace of a massive new industrial scientific revolution to create advanced computer science, computer technology, semiconductor technology, micro component technology, transistor technology, and so much more. We have all the manufacturing potential. Greater Manchester is the heart of huge universities and colleges and the hub of a vast range of manufacturing in advanced technologies, automotive, advanced engineering, aerospace, and it could have been microprocessing. We could have had a Silicon City where the Americans have their Silicon Valley, an entire city, a region devoted to advanced micro technology. But that would have required far more than we've got. It would have required a visionary leadership, not only to continue the investment and to build upon it and to diversify it, but also to look at the supply chains that feed into it. If you've ever taken the old computer apart or anything like that, you would have seen not just the CPU, the central processing unit inside the little microchip, you would have seen thousands of components that go onto the motherboard or a circuit board of anything. And all of that would have to have been manufactured, for which you will need a vast supply chain of specialist manufacturers, which didn't exist, which were never nurtured. It's all right talking about we're going to create a company that makes one particular advanced technology component, but if you haven't got that broad diversity, the supply chains that can manufacture the end product, the end computer or the mobile phone or anything, then you don't really have the potential for new industrial revolutions. And that is where our strategic leadership is missing. We've got brilliant designers and innovators like Alan Turing, like his team, like many others, like the researchers at the GPO developing advanced optical fibre technology, which finally arrived just a few days ago. But we don't have the leadership to really invest long term and to diversify that investment into the supply chains to feed the final product. That's where we're lacking. And that's the basis of my long term strategy, my prosperity vision for the future of this country, to tap into the real talent, but also to commit to broad ranging UK manufacturing to the vast supply chains that are needed through education, through science, through research and long term sustained innovation and investment. We've got the potential. We still have the potential to make new breakthroughs in advanced computer technology. I've got a few ideas of my own, which I'm obviously not going to go into. But there's so much more to be done. And that's why I'm inviting you to come and join my army of prosperity. Come and join me and try and convince the government to pivot for a new prosperity today. To unleash the real, brilliant, creative and productive potential of British science, technology, design, industry and manufacturing. If you approve, then come and join us. Come join me. Help me pivot. Thanks for your time and patience. See you soon. Bye for now.